Welcome to another Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy. The largest hands-on RV training academy in America. Hey, this week we're gonna cover the topic, what is the difference between going 12 volt or 24 volt if we're looking at maybe putting in a solar system? Hey, if I look tired, that's simply because we just finished up the RV Unplugged Rally season finale this weekend. Now, if you don't know about that, go ahead, click on the link below. Go ahead and start watching that show. One of the questions that came in from the attendees there, hey, if we're thinking about putting in solar, what would be the consideration between a 12 volt system and a 24 volt system? Well, there's a lot of opinions out there and that's exactly where this is gonna land. Um, it's gonna be an opinion. Now, when we're looking at the difference between a 12 volt system and a 24 volt system, there's some considerations. If you've done some homework, you started looking into there, we'll understand that you know 12 volts going to 120 because you're using an inverter and you're using some really good batteries, kind of like the big beard batteries, you're having to use those batteries to you know, take that 12 volts and crank it all the way up to 120 volts. Well, that's 10 times the difference, right? So you're making those batteries work really hard. And what we're doing is we're taking that voltage, 12 volts, we're cranking it up to 120 volts, which means we've got to crank the amperage up. And I've got to crank that amperage up 10 times. Well, if you went 24 volts, then you only have to crank it up five times. Well, that's half the amperage. And that's what a lot of people look at. And one of the main concerns or one of the main um, benefits, one of the main benefits that people look at, well, if I have half the amps, then I can go with a smaller wire and a smaller wire is actually cheaper. Now, let me tell you, in doing a full system, if you go from you know the wire, the cabling that you need, the difference between say a 12 volt system and a 24 volt system, all said and done is about $75. That's all that you're really gonna save. But let me go over some considerations that may still be a good benefit. Now, if you're looking at the difference between 12 volt system and a 24 volt system, most inverters, when they are 24 volt, they have smaller coils. Well, a smaller coils means a smaller profile. Smaller profile, lighter. So there's a little bit of weight difference between a 12 volt inverter and a 24 volt inverter in size. You might save an inch, okay? Lastly, the main benefit to maybe going 24 volts is your solar controller, okay? Now your solar controller is the device between your solar panels that brings down high volts DC. Solar controller takes that high volts DC and makes it battery voltage DC, whether it's 12 or 24. Well, when you do that and you have the difference, you have the inverter that can either be 12 volts or 24 volts. Well, if you got 24 volts, and that means you can basically put up twice the amount of panels, twice the amount of panels. Because again, if your voltage is high, your amperage is low, you can actually put more panels up there, okay? So you save some money on having that solar controller run more panels, okay? So that's really the main difference. It is an opinion. Now, I would suggest, and this is what I do for my own preference. If we're gonna do a double inverter system, and let's say we want to do the big inverter, say 5,000 watts each. That's where we may look at going 24 volts. But there's nothing wrong with a 5,000 watt inverter that's 12 volts, right? You're going to have big, beefy cables. You're going to keep your batteries in line. And quite honestly, 12 volt batteries sending up 12 volt power, well, it works a lot better than putting them in series and sending those up, okay? So it's just considerations. There's really no hard and fast rule on this. It's really what you want in there. So that's all that you have to do. But I would say this, make sure that you get quality equipment whenever you're putting all this together. Make sure all your connections are tight, okay? This is where we have problems. You're putting in a lot of connections and those connections can get loose over time. You need to learn to make sure to go through everything, tighten it all up and get good quality parts like big beer batteries. There's your tech tip. All right, before you get to the bloopers, which is why you're here in the first place, the RV industry needs thousands of RV technicians and inspectors, and now is the perfect time to do that. If you want to make more money or have more control over your time, go ahead and click the link below. Or if you just want to learn how to fix your own RV, got something for you there. Head over to rvtechcourse.com and get started today. Now for the reason that you're out there in the video, Roll the bloopers. All right, now if I look really tired, that's simply because we just wrapped up our uh, weekend event. Final, I don't even know what the hell it was. That's how tired I am. Yeah, We just wrapped up the RV Unplugged season 
Rally. <laughs> Rally finale. I'm going to get this down. Rally finale. Here we go. Make sure that if you are doing it or if you hire someone that you make sure that you make, <laughs> I keep saying make sure. We're at the part where he said, huh, no. So on this tech tip, Tuesday that takes 20 minutes, <laughs> system and a 24. Um, hmm. Now when we're looking at the differences between, <laughs> <laughs> hey, what did the duck say after finishing his meal? Put it on my bill. Nah. <laughs> <laughs>